Hello everyone, listen, I just wanted to get into what Warren Buffett is doing. I want to tell you three things uh, that we learned about him and it's going to help you in your investment decisions, all right? Uh, number one, this is, the, this is the one stock that Buffett cannot stop buying, even though he's not buying anything else right now. He can't stop buying this one stock. Number two, we're going to talk about the annual shareholders meeting uh, with Ber Berkshire Hathaway. All right, for the first quarter results. And then number three, we're going to talk about how cheap, historically cheap, Berkshire Hathaway is. Man, it's going to be awesome. So before we get into that, I want you to like, share, subscribe uh, this video. Let everyone know uh, what Buffett is doing because many times the best way to predict the future is to look at the past, right? And if you don't have a mentor, grab someone who knows what they're doing and follow them, right? All right, so let's get into it. CEO Warren Buffett has built himself quite the fortune doing something that seems almost foreign to investors today, namely buying great companies with clear competitive advantages and holding on to them for very long periods of time. As Buffett has learned, this is the great differentiator of success when it comes to investing. Now, according to Berkshire Hathaway's annual report released in February, its stock has delivered a compound annual gain of 20.3% over the past 55 years ending in 2019. Now, that's more than double the compound annual return of 10% for the benchmark S&P 500. This includes dividends over the same time frame. Now, with Buffett sporting an extensive track record of beating the market, his advice suggestions and investments they tend to receive a lot of attention so not surprisingly all eyes were on berkshire hathaway's annual shareholder meeting this past weekend thus you can imagine how intrigued wall street and investors were to get their hands on berkshire hathaway's first quarter operating results now these were released this past saturday may 2nd 2020 as well, they wanted to listen to what Buffett has to say about the state of his company. And during a question and answer session as part of the company's annual shareholder meeting, he went ahead and let them know. Now, keep in mind, this wasn't your run-of-the-mill Berkshire Hathaway event, okay? Because of the unprecedented disruption that's been going on, right? Because of the various things that are going on right now. I'm not going to name it right now, right? Um, this is actually the first real chance investors have had to see what the most successful investor has been up to over the past couple of months. So Berkshire's quarter one operating results certainly told an interesting story, albeit not one that will likely encourage investors in the near term. Despite entering the year with a near record $128 billion in cash, Berkshire ended March with an all-time high of $137.2 billion in cash, cash equivalents, and short-term investments. Although Buffett and his team were net buyers of equities, according to the filed cash flow statements, the Oracle of Omaha right, acquired only $1.8 billion net of stocks during that quarter. That's not much, considering the S&P 500 delivered its fastest decline <laughs> into bear market territory in history and wound up losing 34% of its value in a mere 33 calendar days. The one surprising stock, right, that Buffett cannot stop buying, guess what it is? As well as the lack of large purchases in 2019, there's one large stock that Buffett can't stop buying of late. And what do you think it is? That's right, Berkshire Hathaway. According to the newly filed quarter one report, Buffett and his team repurchased Berkshire's Hathaway stock of, on three separate occasions. Now watch this, January 3rd through the January 15th, February 24th through February 28th, and March 2nd through March 10th. All told, the calculations show that that's approximately $1.58 billion was used to repurchase Berkshire's Class A and Class B stocks in the first quarter. Now, this follows repurchase activity of around $5 billion in 2019 and more than $1 billion in common stock repurchases in 2018. Now, in order for Buffett and his right-hand man, Charlie Munger, <laughs> to put the company's cash to work in the form of, comp of stock buybacks, Two criteria have to be met. There's two. 
Number one, there needs to be at least $20 billion in cash and cash equivalents on the balance sheet. All right. Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger have to agree that Berkshire Hathaway stock is trading for a sizable discount below its intrinsic value. So the first of these conditions is easily met as the company has almost seven times the minimum required cash needed to execute buybacks. Now, the second, however, is completely arbitrary, but it does suggest that among a sea of arguably bloated valuations, Buffett and Munger view their own company as the most attractive. Buffett and Munger have a point. Berkshire Hathaway stock is historically cheap. Huh. Or well, the question you're probably asking yourself is whether buying back Berkshire Hathaway's common stock is really the best use of the company's cash. Is it? I want to know what you think. I want to lean on your comments. What do you think? All right, because that is something that they're looking into. Anytime you can buy stock for less than it's worth, it's advantage, right? It's very advantageous to the continuing shareholders, but it should be by a demonstrable margin. Do you agree? This statement is noteworthy for two reasons, all right? One, it introduces the idea that stock buybacks aren't get-rich-quick schemes. Although they reduce the number of shares outstanding, which can in turn lift earnings per share and then make a company look more attractive from a valuation standpoint, a stock buyback is a long-term logistic maneuver that's undertaken when a company is selling for less than it's worth. Remember, he is a long-term holder. So in other words, it addresses short-sighted complaints concerning Buffett's use of cash. Secondly, right, it really drives home it, it, how inexpensive Buffett and Munger view Berkshire Hathaway to be. If they're buying back their own stock rather than investing this capital into other companies, then this is what they believe. They believe Berkshire is the better bet by a demonstrable margin. So from a fundamental perspective, getting aggressive on the buyback front would seem to make sense. Over the past decade, Berkshire Hathaway's share price has ranged between 18% and 59% above its book value based on year end totals. But at last check, right, Berkshire's common stock could be purchased for a mere 5% above the book value. So if there's one nitpick, is that the bulk of these buybacks occurred well before the selling really accelerated in the stock market. So Buffett, very clearly, is not a market timer. All the $1.58 billion in purchases occurred at share prices that averaged 15% to 20% higher than where the Berkshire trades today. So he's, oh, clearly he's not a market timer. But we'd like to see Buffett put his capital to work in a variety of stocks, but the fact that he's been actively buying Berkshire stocks since 2018 uh, should inject a bit of a confidence into the arms of Berkshire Hathaway shareholders. And if that's you, I think that you have a great, great advantage by doing what Buffett does, at least in this instance. Folks, let me, sh let me tell you, I think that this is going to be something he's going to continue to do even into the second quarter. Okay, now the third and fourth quarter, I don't know, uh, but I want to know what you think. Do you think he's going to continue this behavior? Only buying his stock? Only buying Berkshire Hathaway stock? Or is he going to switch it up in the third quarter? I think very strongly, very probably, right? Very, the probability is very high that he's going to do the same thing in the second quarter that he did in the first quarter. However, I want to know what you think. All right, listen, like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And God bless you guys. Have a great night.